Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Rike to Slack. First of all, we have to create ourselves uh, an account at uh, Rike.com. Once we do that, uh, we can tweak our projects, we can really complete our ca calendars and invite team members into Rike. RAG even provides a 40 days uh, left free trial for you so you can uh, really find out if this is a really a good way how to solve your issues or manage your team but uh, if we want to make an integration we want to go to the top right corner where our profile is and we want to go to apps and integration which is third options from up there now uh, we can see a couple of options that RAG already provides for us. But we are uh, looking for Slack. As you can see, there is RAG to Slack, or RAG app for Slack. It's right here or here, or you can just, uh, use the search engine. So let's go like this. And as you can see, uh, there's this, uh, uh, yeah, we have to enable. And you have to just sign in with your uh, Slack account. That's the one way how to make an integrations work. The second way is actually through Zapier. Zapier.com is basically integration engine. So uh, what we want to do, we also want to create an account here and we want to go to the top left corner and press make a Zap. Now, once we are making this app, we can name it. So let's go like Rack Slack. Now we have to choose our first, our first event or first application that will start the zap, and it's obviously Rack. Once we are in Rack, we need to trigger an event. It will be new folder or new task. Let's go with uh, new task. We press continue. We have to now login with an account that we created on a rack continue folder you can find yourself a folder uh, you already created for your team or just go with true or false uh, most of the time it's true when it really happened this will happen uh, second action is actually the application that will be affected by the trigger in our case it's uh, it's a slack so it's right here or you can also use the search engine let's go with slack and what will happen when new task in rack uh, appear it will uh, let's say update the profile set the status add a reminder so let's go with update the status continue and the last thing you need to do is just sign into slack so yeah that's about it thanks for watching and see you on the next video